I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zahn. And? <laughs> don't kid yourself, Master. I really think we both know the real reason you'd be watching me. And I don't have to spell it out to you. You never give up, do you? No. I admit, I'm interested in you. Ooh. I find you intriguing, compelling really? even, but it's not what you think. Ah. You have a great gift. You have an awesome command of the Force, and I tremble when I think of how you might misuse it. Oh, Do you get all tingly inside as well? What? I, no, of course not. <laughs> not like that, anyway. In many ways, you are... you are dangerous. Oh, come you on. You could be the savior of the galaxy, or you could bring untold destruction upon us all. I've seen you give in to temptation and indulge your baser emotions on many occasions. I'm afraid you are on the path that leads to the dark side. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety, for it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this, but I will do my best to make you understand. Okay. Bastila, spit it out. The dark side is not simply giving in to anger temptation or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. Oh, for God's sake. Look, I maybe, you know, use my false powers to get a bit of spare cash, bend people's minds to make my life a little bit easier when I'm out in the field. But let's not get one thing straight here. I'm not about to bring destruction upon this world. What do you think I am? <sighs> Come on, I get the picture. Stop with the bloody dramatics. You say you understand, but I'm afraid you're taking this too lightly. The power of the dark side can be alluring. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? Yeah, somebody who's uh, extremely evil and, you know, not somebody who's a little bit greedy. You know, somebody who covets a bit of material reward, reward and gain. That's hardly the... the traits uh, uh, of a, uh, an evil man, some evil, vicious person that wants to bring destruction to the world, that's just not me, come on, look at my sweet innocent face with nice new goatee beard for instance, you know, <laughs> do I look like somebody's going to bring devastation on this world, <laughs> really, uh. So what did she, what did she, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked, what did she say? <laughs> what sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? Come on. Surely the light side has had a few killings here and there. One who serves the light does not strike down an innocent. We take arms against the dark side and the injustice that follows it only. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror. That we have unlimited control, vigilance and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. Okay, do whatever we must. Uh, what would you suggest we do? I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Indeed you hope, and so do I, I hope. In fact, I don't hope, I know. I'm definitely strong enough. When the time comes, I shall be ready. So we started off teasing Bastila once again, you know, having a bit of a laugh with her, as we like to do. But then, yes, we had to become serious, because she was still, in, in, she was insistive, you know, she in, kept insisting about this dark side nonsense. Still playing role of mentor, still trying to tempt me, you know, give me a lecture about the dark side. But as I said, I mean, Valdrin's only pilfering a few items here and there, you know, he's... Not really struck down at any innocence. Yes, he's cashed in on a few bounties, but he hasn't 
murdered people in cold blood in the street for a laugh, has he? Come on. If they don't have anything to give him, uh, then he will leave them be, quite happily. Right, so seeing as we've talked to Pestler, we'll uh, talk with HK-47, make sure he doesn't feel left out. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. <clears throat> Functionality? Statement. I... I think this is all... Are you damaged? Answer. I believe I have been damaged several times in the past, Master. I have always been repaired, but perhaps full functionality has not been restored. Alright, I can't remember if I've asked this before. Is there any way to repair you? Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master. But anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. Answer. The deeper functions of my core conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result. Hmm. Observation. I am sure you might. Okay, yeah, we've, we've seen all this. Add. As you wish, Master. That is all. <laughs> Purchase. Moisture evaporators, for instance. Ask no silly questions. Receive no lies. Just give them to me. That's none of your concern. Four hundred credits for the pair. Come on, four hundred. Do I look like I'm rolling in cash right now? I'm a poor little man here on a random planet which I don't know. I've only got a few coppers in my pocket that I can show you here. Lower price? Cover your costs. Lower the price. That's right. Who cares about regulations? Oh, 200. Oh, 200 for a pair of moisture vaporators sounds perfectly acceptable to me. Thank you. Yes, I'll come again soon indeed. Thank you, kind sir. Right, quick, let's get out of here. Before they realize what we've done. <laughs> I do enjoy this game. It's really, it really is uh, it's quite fun indeed. Okay, so what was I saying? To the Sand People's base, of course. We have the, ba we have the vaporators. I assume it has been updated. <clears throat> Two motor vaporators. Take them to the sand people. Let's see what the crack is. Little Jawa hobbling about. Citizens. Miners. All people we don't need to involve ourselves with. All poor little plebs. We have no time for plebs. Eight guard villain. Let me out, please. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. I'll just let you pass. The boys in the office may need authorization in triplicate, but not me. Good, Good hunting out there. Thank you. Who needs triplicate when one copy should suffice? Right, guys, keep your wits about you. Some people may attack us at any moment. Such a shame we have to schlep all the way back. Look at this. It's an endless... It's an endless hike. Is all I can explain it. Look, we're not even gaining on this thing. The heat beating down upon you. The sudden urge for some... What the hell are these things? 
Oh my golly gosh, this doesn't look good. It's like a, a pack, a pack of something. A, a pod? A pack? Uh, I, uh, what else? A plural? What a plural for raids. I assume that's what they are. Well, considering we only get 24 credits for their skulls, I really don't envisage myself putting myself out of... Uh, uh, off my beaten track to go and get them. 24 credits. It's absolute pittance, is that? Not worth my time or effort. I hope we can just waltz on through. I come to speak with your chief. Did I mean no harm? I have something for him. Good. If they'd, if they'd have attacked me, of course, I'd have chopped them down and killed them all. So it's in their best interest to leave me be. Right, people, I know how much you like mines, Bastel, and I know how much you can help walk through them and cause devastation, but please, you could do without it right now. I'm sure if we kill this bantha, we'd probably get something quite uh, a decent price for something. Maybe it's horns, maybe? Bantha horns? Ah! Bantha beard? Bantha tail? I don't know. what. Bantha steaks? Make a great burger. Bantha burgers? <laughs> or maybe not. I believe we've collected all the remains, but I just check. Oh, ooh, maybe not, you see? Sometimes it pays just to double check. Sometimes it pays. Sometimes crime. People say crime doesn't pay, but uh, Valdor doesn't think so. Crime sometimes does pay. Especially theft. Theft pays. <laughs> I'm not condoning it in real life, of course. Please don't take my comments literally. I'm saying in the game. Anyway, I am hoping you're not going to strip me down to my underwear this time. Otherwise, I'll be thinking that you guys are quite good. Uh, Extrapolation. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. I couldn't give two craps if he does or doesn't. I'm not here to speak to some mere lowly soldier. I'm here to speak to the big boss. Tell him to get this screwed. Translation. Translation. It has had the expected effect. Uh oh. I hope you are ready for battle. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you flaming moron! How dare you try to attack me here! I'm killed with vaporators! Uh oh, get inside! Get inside! Bastila, what you doing? Bastila, no! I think we may have caused devastation here. It looks like Valdron's uh, diplomatic skills have caused us to. <laughs> fail miserably in our diplomatic task. We came here with vaporators, for God's sake, and we paid 200 credits for them, and now we're not going to use them. <laughs> oh my God. All because of some snotty guard. Where's HK-47? Alas, I have no time for this. Die, people, die! We're surrounded. And HK's outside. Bastila's in trouble. She's dead. What can I do? Oh, nope, she's not dead. Sure. Oh, yes, she is dead. Okay. <laughs> this is not what was supposed to happen. What? What do you want? You've you got a problem? Okay, I may be in trouble. Yeah. It's not good, is it? <laughs> ah, dear me, what a bit silly. Auto save, where did we auto save it? 
Ready. Quick save. I keep forgetting to quick save. Bloody hell, fire. And the game's crashed on us. <laughs> 